Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Crypto continues to dump. However, it looks like we might be getting a slight turnaround or at least a relief rally. So today's video, I'm gonna focus on Cardano. It's been a while since I've done a Cardano dedicated video. So let's update the charts and look at the areas that we have been targeting as a dip for specific reasons. All right, so let's dive into that on the charts. If you love the sound of it and you wanna know more about cryptocurrencies, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below bell notification icon so you can be updated with the time sensitive content especially in these crazy periods don't go anywhere these are the times where the money is made if you're watching my channel someone else's channel stick around with your investments don't lose focus during the bear markets that's where the money is made all right like the video up let's get it to 2000 likes appreciate it very much let's dive in cardano is 36 billion dollars slipped to sixth place tether has overtaken it, XRP's back up there. Uh, this has been obviously the last couple of weeks, sitting at $1.12. So we had hit a high of around $1.50. We'll look at that on the chart in just a second. It's not really too much of a concern. The concern is where the bounce was and we hit into the 80, 80 cents, 89 cents. So we got there in the end, but right on the teetering edge of the, of the 80s. All right, so looking at crypto fear and greed for a second, we are destroyed, 37 out of the possible 100, out of the possible extreme greed. This is why I'm saying stay with the market. Maybe this is going to be the last video you see because if the market dives into a uh, several months long depression of bear market, most people are going to leave the space, especially retail. And we can see on the charts where retail has come in. It was around those highs of Bitcoin from around mid-February until mid-April where the last high was. No gains were made across Bitcoin. Not much, 10, 15% when we saw 10Xs from the lows. So this is a really critical time. If you want to make money, this is the time to be making it, even if the markets are very scary for a lot of new people. So do your research, start following and tracking an investment. Enough said from, uh, from me. Let's keep looking at the charts. 37, really low on the charts here. Uh, sorry, back to the market cap, 1.8 trillion. That's what I wanted to mention here. And Bitcoin slips under a trillion dollar market cap. So it is teetering again with that trillion dollars. It's trying to cement its place over the trillion bucks. Cardano. Okay, let's move a couple of these lines around. So I have the FIB. This is the fib I want to move to the top of this one here. Put these back. That's all good. So this is the fib extension, and I'm using it from a, an extreme weekly low before we started to take off. So here it is right here. We could move it to this low, and that would give us at around an 82 cent, 50% level. If you've never used this before in your life, it is this tool here, fib retracement. You can find it in the side here. Uh, fib retracement you want to learn about it so do some research on how to use it what i'm using here is connected to a major low and now you can see that i've got on log this is a major low here that's a major low you can see that the market was halted it stopped its downtrend these are weekly bars by the way so it's a long period one two three four five six seven eight weeks so two months think about it most people can't even handle an hour in cryptocurrency imagine two months of a downtrend that no one has seen that. Well, the majority of people in the last two to three months have not seen two months of a downtrend. And that's nothing compared to where where it started from in the peak of January 2018. You know, it was, call it two and a bit years of a downtrend before we finally got this initial rally out of the low. So imagine two years, two hours, two months. It's all very important to understand. So this is a major low. That's how to find it. This is a major high right here. Let me take this off log now so you can see the normal chart. Uh, and basically, we're looking for the 50%. So point, uh, 0 0.5 is at 82 and a half cents. The weekly moving average is starting to climb up to that 82 and a half cents. And this is why you don't need to use multiple different tools. A lot of them will come to around the same point when they are major critical areas. And I suspect in the next week or two, we're going to see the moving average come to around that 80 to 90 cents and potentially potentially Cardano could continue to drop just peter out around that 80 cents to a dollar. I've talked about this on multiple different Cardano videos on the channel. I've got a Cardano playlist so you can go back and check all of those out, see whether I'm talking nonsense or not. But I know that's what we've been looking at because we've had this 50% level in here since this top, which I also 
talk about it on the channel. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I did get slammed for saying I was going to sell some Cardano <laughs> at the peak, God forbid. And uh, basically, Cardano has gone nowhere since. Now, I thought maybe we we're going to get a breakout here uh, last week when we started to break through this high of $1.54 and we got to $1.57. But it was false. The close was very low. The volume was high for that day. So that was a first sign that we were starting to weaken on the market. It was setting up for a break, but we've had a false break to the upside, potentially a false break to the downside. I happen to think that maybe we'll get a few more weeks in this consolidation period before we go again. Maybe we fall down here. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't really matter. Anywhere in, you know, anywhere in this zone here, we're okay. It's a huge zone. It's 70 cents to $1.20. But at the end of the day, this is the way the markets work. You have to be comfortable with big ranges, uh, especially in cryptocurrencies, which are extremely volatile. So that is still a safe zone for me, a nice little safe zone there. Accumulation is sweet. It's nicer to see these areas unfold over a longer period of time because we're forming a solid base. You probably hear me say that all the time as well. And basically the 50% is like our safe zone. The last safe zone is probably around the uh, 61%. So it's from this top to this area here. It's not using this and dropping down 61% because that's going to level you out at around 58 cents or 59. It's about there, but give or take a few cents. So it's not too bad at the end of the day. It's about 58% drop from the high, but using this fib because we're measuring from the major low to the major high, it's a 61% of the range. So remember that, that's the difference. Now that's the weekly. So that's the macro view of Cardano and it's important to look at the macro because all too often people are looking at the hourly charts and there's stuff going left right and center ups and downs we just saw another major dip uh, what 12 hour uh, 24 hours ago into that low major volume that hit the 80 uh, the 90 cents I saw another chart it was around 89 cents so this is it's it's a it confuses you there's a lot of noise when it comes to these charts back to the daily still quite noisy but we need to have a look at this. So we're looking at Bitcoin having multiple days down. Cardano has ha fared a little better. We've got white bars here because we don't need the color of the candles at the moment. We're just counting tops. So we want to see a higher top, a higher high. And we have this one at $1.52, $1.52.2. Very similar. Another day down, day down, down, down. This one is the up day, even though that would be colored red. See the candle? So that's red, but it's had a higher high and a higher low. It's an up day, but there's no feature in TradingView or most of these charting uh, software that people use to identify that. This is something that's on a software that's called Optima. It's about two grand. Most people don't want that. So you have to know how to read it yourself. Uh, so that's Optima and it's also a monthly fee on top of that. And this is traditional GAN swing trading rules to understand highs and lows. So this bar down, down, Maybe we're going to get a reversal from here because we've got pretty big spike lows with high volumes, which is a key reversal. Or if you're doing candlestick charting, it's a, a hammer or yeah, it's not a shooting star because that's a top, but basically a hammer, a spinning top. Okay. So from here, where are we going? I think potentially sideways and this could happen for another few weeks. And that's what is going to happen. Just like through here for Cardano, it just went quiet. Not much was going on and you, you didn't, there was nothing else to update. So people went down to a 15 minute chart to try and give you some sort of narrative and to keep you excited and to have these big fancy thumbnails with flashy neon lights all over them. And there was literally nothing they could tell you for 17, 18 days until it started to break out. And so there's no news for that period. You've got to make up some news. So the only way to make up news is to go down to smaller time frame because it's more volatile and when there's volatility you can scare people and talk about some sort of volatility that's how all of these charts work that's how everything in freaking finance works if you bring it onto a small enough time frame there'll be something to talk about and someone's going to listen and get worried now that we've exposed that let's see if we can move on and just realize that sometimes markets are quiet sometimes it's okay to have your money out and wait and other times there is real time to be buying the dips. And on the previous video I had today, Bitcoin and Ethereum looking at the majors, thinking that, well, I mean, I'm talking about a potential intermediate top in place for maybe a few weeks to come, maybe a few months. 
because I was looking at uh, measuring these day time frames compared to the previous top we saw in 2019, a lot of days down. So go and check that video out if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, with, with Cardano here, major times to be buying are potentially these dips here where we see big volume come in on those hourly charts, on the hourly bars. We got another one here, but ultimately it's still in a downtrend. We have not seen a reversal and maybe we'll see a sucker's rally. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking here and we'll just sort of peter out again. Ideally, we want to see the low hold and then form something like that and then we start to base out. We come back down to test it. You know, this is a nice level here at around a dollar and then we start to make the move up again, down, up. You know, we start to dogleg out of that low. That's a good time to buy. Markets have gone quieter. You'll notice a lot of your friends and family aren't discussing cryptocurrency anymore. They're the times that you want to be buying when other people aren't talking about it. The human emotion makes you feel safe to go and buy something when other people are talking about it. It's the, it's the, it's the flip side in cryptocurrency. So just think about that when you're looking at the rest of your portfolio and what you're going to do over the next couple of months because it is possible that we will see a prolonged... Uh, I don't, it's a bear market within an overall bull market. That's what I'm talking about here. I don't think we've seen the ultimate top. I think we've got further to go with Bitcoin to hit the next, you know, the six figures. Everyone's sort of waiting on the six figures of Bitcoin. I definitely am. And uh, I think from this point, we're just going to see a bit of a consolidation through here. I'm going to be very surprised and I would, you know, if it happens, great. Everyone's going to be making money again. But if we sort of quick V-shaped recovery from this level, that would be the ultimate, you know, that would be pretty cool. But obviously we want to see some more consolidation. We want to see some volume come in. Otherwise, the same problem is going to happen again. We want to see volume on the breakouts. Now we've covered off Cardano. Actually, let's look at Cardano and I'll come back to Bitcoin. Sorry, I'm bouncing all over the place here, but we've looked at Cardano USD. That's my consolidation zone. Bitcoin is going to lead this, but let's look at A to Bitcoin because it is, you can see here, it's consolidating. It's going sideways. That's sweet. Sideways between our 1800 Satoshis, or call it 1900, and around 2400 Satoshis. So you're not losing your Bitcoin value anymore like you did from that top in February, which again, we talked about on the channel. So you're not losing your Bitcoin value. That's a very good start. You don't want to be losing Bitcoin value. You always want to be gaining in Bitcoin value as well. Cardano ETH has slipped off very heavily, and Ethereum has taken the throne here. So the, the losses from holding Cardano instead of Ethereum from that top, which I talked about on the channel, are 57% currently 52%. So half of your ETH value has been lost if you bought that top or if you were thinking about selling out and then rolling into other cryptocurrencies or other assets. We have, I would say this is about to come up and clip the bottom of this level here. So we're going to be bouncing off the 20 week MA. This is for a Cardano against Ethereum. Let me put that on a weekly. There you go. So it is on the 20 week. It doesn't mean it has to hold there. It could bounce under and then come back above, but that's a good, at least a first sign of a bottoming. This is a bit unfortunate for Cardano overall, actually, that it's fallen into the accumulation zone again against Ethereum. So we were looking at this and we saw the breakout and we thought this was on. We thought we were going to get further and uh, push Ethereum value down and down and down. And obviously Cardano be going up. Hasn't eventuated. And like if we're just being honest with the charts here, Cardano is losing a lot of value against uh, Ethereum. And it does have the potential to come back to these levels of around 0 0.0003. So call it 31,000, 30,000 guay or, you know, the, the gas, the smaller denomination of uh, the ether. So this isn't the, the brightest. ADA BTC is much stronger. And then ADA USD is also holding its ground. So overall, Ethereum is still looking strong when you look at it compared to other cryptocurrencies. So at the moment, as much as we don't want to say it, ETH is kind of the gold at this point in time. It's the one that's holding the value the most out of the other cryptocurrencies. So that's Cardano for today's video. You can see what I've got there. I'm looking at timeframes. I'm looking at prices. I'm looking at longer term dollar cost averaging. 
and we wait. If we want to make up some more news and noise for Cardano, we drop it down to a lower time frame. I can talk about something on the 15 minute chart to say buy here, sell here, do this, that, the other. But at the end of the day, too much work, too little reward. I think you get the idea. Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video up, let's get it to 2000 likes. Share it with a friend if they are into Cardano and they wanna understand what's going on as opposed to the noise that's going on out there like Cardano Africa coming up, you gotta watch this, do that. Hoskinson's doing this on Twitter. If you wanna make money from it because I don't think you're really here for the tech, <laughs> at least there's not that much tech going on with Cardano unfortunately, but there is a lot going on with the price and the community. The community is very big and it is enough to push the price as we've seen from two cents to a dollar fifty so that is really important to note as well if you're interested in trading this market so like i said share subscribe bell notification icon like the video up join the free newsletter it's down below every two weeks so we're not spamming you but it's free newsletter join it you will learn more about trading and investing in cryptocurrency and the stock market and land cycles that's the most important which we don't talk about all that much in the grand scheme of things. Join that. Investor Accelerator is down below as well. That's enough from me. See you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.